Hey, I'm Rebecca Ball Carcel. Let's talk about Abner Snopes, a character in Barn Burning, the short story by William Faulkner. Abner Snopes is a cruel man, and unfortunately, he is the father of the main character, Sardi. To analyze Abner, let's just look at his actions in the story. And then from looking at his actions, I think we'll be able to infer what are his traits and what are his motives maybe even what are his psychological issues. All right, so let's start with the actions. I made a little chart here of uh, some actions, and they're in blue. Um, and quickly, they are that he treats his wife badly. We see him insulting her and dismissing her. Uh, poor Mrs. Snopes. And then we see that he burns barns, of course. He... Uh, gets revenge this way. We find out that he stole horses during the Civil War. Now, at first we think he was a soldier, but no, basically he just steals stuff. Okay, he also hits his child and his mule. So he's cruel to animals and children, and that's an important action. It shows us a lot about what kind of person he is. And then lastly, he's irresponsible with a pig. <laughs> And this is from an incident at the beginning of the story. We see that he never was able to control his pig, and it went around, you know, destroying other people's gardens and so on. And he never would control it. So that's the kind of neighbor he is. Now, from these actions, we can infer the traits that are here in, in red. Um, so he's loyal only to himself. Right? He doesn't uh, have loyalty to the Union Army, the Confederate Army, uh, only to him. He doesn't make decisions for the good of the community or his job, the employer, or even his family. It's all about Abner. All right. He also resents power and wealth. As soon as he arrives at Despain's house, he immediately sees it's beautiful and big. He hates the guy. You know, if you're wealthy, you're automatically... Uh, suspect if in Abner's world. However, I don't think it's just the money. I think Abner really resents the power that other people have. He feels powerless himself, and he hates it when people have power over him, as an employer has over an employee. So he's already bitter before he's even started his first day of work. All right. On this list, I also put easily offended. Because every time we see Abner um, being corrected or someone suggesting he do something, he immediately is offended. He will not um, uh, take good ad advice. He immediately thinks that you're trying to control him. And it's easy to get on the wrong side of Abner Snopes. All right. And lastly, I put that he refuses to conform or follow rules. He refuses to behave himself, basically. And any time he's supposed to behave a certain way and he's pushed to do it, he, he, he resents it and he tries to get revenge. All right, and the last thing I put on here is a little picture of fire. <laughs> uh, because I think finally, as we look at his actions, we look at these uh, motives and traits, I think we can see that fire for Abner is an important element because it is his way of asserting some kind of power in his world. He is a very poor man. Sharecropping is almost like slavery. He uh, is not respected by even his family. They only obey him out of fear. So uh, he doesn't have much power, and fire is the only way that he can assert his, his manhood. Um, and the last question I want to ask about Abner, do we feel sorry for him at all? Uh, it's pretty hard to feel sorry for this guy. He is very cold and heartless, and he treats everyone very cruelly. However, I do feel a little bit sorry for him because the sharecropping system that he's part of is cruel too, and it dehumanizes people and makes it pretty hard for them to get ahead in any way. There's no way for him to 
get an education or learn a trade, he's very stuck in the life he has here as a sharecropper. And that situation might turn anyone into a cruel, heartless, revengeful person. Um, it doesn't excuse his behavior, but maybe it does explain some of his bitterness. Well, that's Abner Snopes, and uh, thank goodness there's nothing much else to say about him. <laughs> if you'd like to learn more about this story, join me in another video.